wow, is this ever a monster game on Friday night? Or Friday afternoon, I should say. They've got it at the bottom of the Friday rotation, but it's actually noon uh, Eastern on Friday, at early start time. Uh, Tulane and Cincinnati, top t- teams tied for first in the AAC. Uh, Cincinnati, two-point home favorites, 46 and a half the total. You know I love Tulane, all right? I love this team. They've they, they, they've cashed an overwind total for me already. I do have a small flyer on them to win the AAC, which is still alive. But I can't get that freaking UCF game out of my mind. That was their biggest test of the conference season so far. And they flat out didn't get it done on defense. And UCF ran all over them in this game. And to be other than that, you know, they played a downtrodden Houston team. East Carolina's been up and down. South Florida's bad. Memphis is mediocre. Tulsa's bad. You know, they still need to show, you know, against the Cincinnati on the road here at Nippert Stadium uh, that, that you, you can get it done in a big game, big spot, big opponent. I, I, I'm not fading Tulane, obviously. I love them. I've cashed with them so much this year. I got back on them last week against SMU on that Thursday night game, and they destroyed SMU, and that offense got back on track, and Michael Pratt can throw it. Michael Pratt can run. He's a very good dual threat quarterback. Tajay Spears and the run game's good. And I keep thinking Cincinnati is a little not quite as what they've been. I know they beat up T- Temple, which was disappointing. I was on Temple last week, 23 3. But I don't know. I mean, they were fortunate to beat East Carolina, struggled to beat Navy, lost to Central Florida as well. I think it's a winnable game for Tulane, but they're going to have to play a whole lot better, obviously, against the run, especially than they did against UCF. And when you look at uh, Cincinnati, uh, it's a team that has struggled to run the football, and it's a Tulane defense that's been better against the pass, which is Cincinnati's offensive strength. So I think matchup-wise, it's actually a better matchup against Cincy for Tulane than the UCF game was. I think Tulane can win this. I lean Tulane uh, in this one. Uh, it's certainly the only side I would look at, and I'd love to see Tulane in the AAC championship game. And it's important they win. They got a break, too, with UCF. Uh, losing to Navy last week. And that is yeah. suddenly because UCF wins the tiebreaker over Tulane. But now if Tulane can somehow win this game, they're in the AAC championship game, which would be fantastic. If they lose this game, Connor Mack, they would need UCF to lose as well in order to be in the AAC championship game. So that's where we're at. And Central Florida plays South Florida. So you've got to think they're going to win that game, Central Florida. So it's basically... If you're if, if Tulane's probably not going to be in the AAC championship if they lose this game because I don't see UCF losing uh, to South Florida, but so huge stakes, huge great season overall for Willie Fritz and this team regardless. But man, it would be so sweet to see them in the AAC championship game. It'd be one hell of a story. What do you think here, Connor? Yeah, it would. I mean, you know, in the end, I don't know if I bet this one, but yeah, how could I mean Tulane's done it all year. They've been money, too, on the road. Obviously, it's a short number. You get the couple points or just roll with the money line. And this would be a huge win to, you know, take down Cincinnati, who's owned this, you know, conference for so long. Uh, I thought that win, I know they covered against Temple. That was just a ho-hum, boring game. They were kind of walking through that. Uh, and I don't know how great this team is. Have they gotten better defensively? I think Tulane can move it on them. I think this is a damn pr- good game. So, I don't know. In the end, I might take a flyer on Tulane a little bit. But – which is probably one I'm going to watch.